I will. I have my. You have what? I have my handy dandy notebook, so I'm, All right, I'm good awesome. to go. <laughs> well, I am now recording. I'm going to also go ahead and screen share. You think I'd be able to find that quickly at this point? But okay. So, welcome, welcome. Um, we are, oh, I never changed the date here, but obviously it's November 3rd, not October 20th. And we are well into the fourth quarter now. So, I feel like you know, I know a lot of people struggled through the month of October, um, even with the 21 day fix and 21 day fix extreme promotions, it was still a harder month just because people are busier. People have excuses. People have, you know, weddings and they're preparing for the holidays. Like I had someone today I was talking to who I sent the 21 day fix to and she said, like, sounds great, but you know, it's kind of hard to spend money this time of year. And I think that that's, that's definitely the most common thing. And I think our job is really to help them see the value in what we have and what we can offer other people. So um, it's not impossible, but we just kind of have to tweak, tweak our approach a little bit. So um, I wanted to really just start off by welcoming new coaches. We've had a lot of new coaches joining our team in the last few weeks. Um, so the training academy for November, I started yesterday. So if somebody's a new coach and is not in there yet and wants to be, you can comment either under the recording in the team page or um, shoot your upline or myself a message, but you know, really just geared to helping you learn the basics and, and get started with some tips and ideas and you know, videos to watch and that kind of stuff. Um, save the dates. These we've talked about a few times, um, but you know, save Super Saturday weekend in January is going to be a big one. Um, I'm actually just going to hop to the next page. Um, it is... So we're, we're pretty much, I don't want to, I can't say that we're going to have the top coach again, but we will most likely have Melanie as the top coach, which comes with Carl Deichler and most likely a trainer of some form. Um, that is all in the works and I'm sure you'll see uh, more information coming out from that shortly. Um, but what you need to know at this point is the Super Saturday date for Pittsburgh will be the Friday night. It's that weekend all across the U.S. So I know our team is scattered throughout. Um, a lot of them will just be on the traditional Saturday, which would be the ninth. Um, the reason we're doing ours the eighth is because of coordinating with corporate and the trainers because they end up they go all over the place um, that weekend. So that's where we're coming in with Friday. We're keeping the same plan and format as last year, where we plan on having a training um, Saturday morning. And we'll probably do some sort of team event ourselves um, after that training, maybe for lunch. Spouses are always welcome. And then that evening, we will have um, the big dream team event um, that Melanie's going to host. And we're still in the works of where that's going to be, but it's going to be for Emerald coaches and above. Um, so I think last year it was open to all coaches. This coming year will be for Emeralds and above. But um, it was so much fun last year. We like everyone, you know, you get dressed up. I actually used my Rent the Runway. That's when I first got addicted to Rent the Runway was this weekend last year. Um, and it's just a fun time to get your spouses, significant others to kind of see a little bit more that it's not just you sitting behind your computer on Facebook and that there's a whole team and family aspect to what we do and um, just celebrate the year's successes. So would love to see as many as you, as many of you as possible um, attend that event. We have hotel rooms on hold. Um, I will tell you that this event sold out last year, like within a day. Um, we do have limited space. There's only a thousand tickets. A thousand, we can only hold a thousand at the Omni. And last year we sold out of those thousand within the first day. So our team has only continued to grow um, since a year ago. So I can promise you it's going to go quickly. Um, you're lucky because I'm on the market council, so I should know before it's ever, ever actually released of when the tickets are available. So I'll be sure to keep you all updated. Um, I can't wait for that weekend. Um, but before that, we have our um, training with Kim Carver, um, which I got a couple questions from this. And actually, I thought I put it in a slide. And I think I, I made the image. Or no, I posted it in our team page. I lied. I shared it in the team page because people were like, you know, for me, it's called three vital behaviors training. So it kind of sounds like, oh, this is probably only something like new coaches should go to. But honestly, it's something like all coaches should go to. I actually had the opportunity to meet Kim Carver. He came in 
last year, I think just to do like one-on-one meetings with some of the elite coaches in the area. And I was able to go with Deidre to this event. And it's like such a dynamic speaker. And, you know, he loves what he does. He has not been with the company that long. I think whenever I met with him last year, he'd only been with the company like two or three months. But he is so passionate. He has wonderful ideas and he cares and he's fun. Um, this training, uh, it, it, the, the base of the training has been held at other cities um, and it has had nothing but positive feedback. He's revamped it a little bit. It's going to be a very interactive training. So it's not like you're just going to be sitting there listening to people speak um, or him speak the whole time. There's activities and team building. Um, so that will be November 14th, 11 to 2. I've posted the link several times. If you even just go onto Eventbrite and search um, Kim Carver training, it'll come up. Um, but I highly recommend anyone who's in the area to get to that training. There's a diamond breakfast that morning. If you're diamond by November 14th, no, the training's the 14th. So I guess like you would be, have to be diamond by that 11th, I guess would be like your cutoff date for that. But there's going to be a breakfast that morning. I'm actually going to be one of the speakers, which I'm kind of excited about. Um, so that will be in the morning with the other training on the other half. So it's geared also towards just helping this consistency through the fourth quarter. Um, if you've listened to any of the national wake up calls or any of the other team calls, it's known, it's proven. If you can kind of run through the mud when it's harder through this fourth quarter and people are giving you more objections because of the holidays and they're busy and they don't want to spend money on themselves, it really propels you forward. Um, come January, but you have to put the work in now um, to be able to reap that. Because if you think you can just sit back and forget about November and December because you don't you don't feel like working a little harder and biting a little bit more, and you let that slide come January when people are ready for a change, you're not going to be the person they think of because you haven't been around or been consistent with your three vital behaviors. So I cannot stress enough how important it is to push through these months. Um, I know I've. I, I used these months last year to call in favors with, you know, my father-in-law or my, my sister, my brother, whoever it may be, to be able to make sure I still hit Success Club and make sure that I was still reaching my goals through these really hard times. So sometimes you have to get a little creative, um, but, you know, in the end, it really is worth it. So just keep inviting through this crazy time um, because there are still people that want it. You just have to kind of find those right people. I want to take a few minutes just to celebrate everyone from October who hit Success Club and got on the leaderboard. Um, I mentioned this on last week's call, but I really like the idea of calling it the Three Lives Club instead of Success Club because Success Club doesn't really mean a whole lot to anyone else. And not that necessarily Three Lives Club does, but I feel like it has a more powerful meaning. And when you think about it as a terms of how many people can you help and how many people can you help change their lives, takes three to hit to hit success club to hit that three lives club so i changed the wording because i think that's a little bit more fun um so we had reagan long in the top of the charts at 23 melissa chavez at 18 Jaden emhoff at 10 those three all qualified for success club leads next month so for those of you who are new to the business you know you're getting your success club points through selling challenge packs two points for each challenge pack one point for each psychology hd order for a new customer or a new coach. So somebody orders Shakeology this month on HD and then they just get their reshipment next month. You don't get another SC point next month. It has to be for a new person. Point being how many more new people can you help each month? Um, but when you hit Success Club 10 and you're an Emerald coach or above, it, it qualifies you for those Success Club leads. Um, and I was shocked. I actually had two people in the last week from my success club leads that bought the ultimate reset, which if anyone knows what that is, like a several hundred dollar 21 day reset program, which I've never had anyone buy it before. And I had two this last month and it's literally free money. Like every one of them was a do not contact. I still managed to hunt her down on Facebook and send her a message of which she just wrote back. Thank you. But at least she acknowledged it. Um, the other lead I had, um, I reached out to and didn't hear from, but you know, these are people who have already made the decision to invest in themselves and to make a change. They're, you're just there to be their free coach to help them and, and see what kind of support you can help, you know, provide to them and results you can help them get. So huge urge to hit Success Club 10. Um, also, Success Club 5, we have a wonderful list here. We have Briar, Maya, Megan Keys, Joe Lee, Nicole Stevens, Autumn Guido, Brad Powell, Tara Larson, 
She's one of our new diamonds on the team um, this month, last month. Terry Long, Maureen Hope, Ruth White, Stephanie Plumley, and Rebecca Mastrone, they all hit Success Club 5, which means they're qualified for the customer leads. Now, customer leads are different from Success Club in the sense that a customer lead is somebody who just creates a free account or does the on-demand, um, and they're not, you know, they didn't, you, you're not going to get any commission from that person initially unless they order something later. And um, where the Success Club leads come from people who purchase Challenge Packs, Shakeology, or something like the Reset. So definitely a big push. And we had an awesome amount of people following right behind under my Changing Lives category who were able to get out there and help someone. So proud of all of you. Um, I know October was definitely a harder month. Um, so congrats to you for making the board. Hammer and chisel, I feel like there's no way that someone could not know that hammer and chisel is coming. But I guess if you're a new coach, you may not have seen all the hype around Autumn Calabrese's and Sagi Kalev's combo program that's coming out December 1st. If you do not have your club membership yet, I highly recommend getting it, doing the fix or doing the workouts on demand, talking about them, and then start making a list of people who have done the 21 day fix before your prior list of customers. Cause those are probably going to be the people who do, um, who want to buy hammer and chisel. And I actually have written down for next week's call. I'm going to go over, um, ho hosting a launch party. So like steps that you should go about when a new program is being launched. I've been able to be around now for max 30 and P90 and 21 day fix extreme. And, they're in size and there's ways you can really strategize it and build the hype up and, you know, get your contact list together and stuff. So that'll be on next week's call. But at this point, I just recommend you try it, you know, try it, post about it, share it, that kind of stuff. I have committed to do this with my husband. Um, so December, December 1st, it's released. I'm planning on December 7th. That first Monday would be the start of my, um, challenge group for that. And, it will run through Christmas, but it's a 60 day program. So it's kind of has to, but if nothing else that'll help me stay on track for the holidays. Um, the other one that's coming out that was announced not too long ago is Tony Horton's new program, 22 minute hardcore. Um, there's not a whole lot other than like a sample little clip of this, but he, you know, he used veterans, which I thought was pretty cool veteran coaches to be in the videos. Um, and obviously it's 22 minutes of high intense, you know, what they use in like basic training type, workout. So that will come out in the spring at some point. And I know someone asked me about Cafe Latte, the new Shakeology flavor. I believe that is set to launch in mid-January. So just a few dates if customers are asking you about it. Um, so moving on, we've got the fall classic. So if someone's a new coach, they're probably thinking, what the heck is that? But it's a fun little competition that we're doing. Um, there's a couple of these we do throughout the year. This particular one is teams of three. We've done them with our teams of five. Um, but the whole point is to work together and earn points. Um, and I didn't put the other points on here, but you, you earn points. The, the main thing is success club points. So you'll get one fall classic point for every success club point that you earn. Um, and then you also get points for the performance line, like bundle package. And for each customer who buys the boost, you can get a success club point for that. In addition, if you rank advance during the month of November or one of your coaches rank advance, they would, you would each get a point. So for example, if Rebecca rank advanced to Emerald and we were on the same team, she'd get a point for advancing to Emerald, I would get a point for having a coach that rank advanced. So the points kind of work both ways, which is where the whole team event comes from because you're really all benefiting from each other's successes. Um, the, the promotions for the month have been extended from last month, um, excluding Body Beast. So Point One Day Fix and Fix Extreme are both in the 140 category along with size. Um, and they're actually including the fixed containers in the size challenge pack, which they didn't initially, although it follows the, the fixed portion control um, nutrition guide. Um, and then for 180, you can get those three programs all available in a kickstart. So I know for me personally, I am doing the three-day refresh myself because I needed to do it for one. Um, and I think there's probably other people who could benefit from doing this as well. So I am talking about it. Um, I am going to write a blog post up for Thursday when my results are finished um, to share my results on that. And 
really tried to encourage people to give it a try and, you know, possibly squeeze one in after Thanksgiving um, because I'm going to run the same type of challenge group that I'm doing now where I have three days of preseason and then a 21 day round leading up to Thanksgiving. I'll do the same thing before Christmas. I'll do three days of preseason with 21 days leading up until Christmas Eve. So, you know, if you haven't done a refresh yet, this is a really great way to get a quick three day result. Um, if you don't want to do it yourself, see if like your spouse will do it. Um, I know someone had, when the, it first came out, I think it was Katie Ersta and she was still going through, um, her chemo treatments. Her husband did it cause she couldn't do it. You know, she wasn't going to do it. So her husband did. So like, you know, we have a lot of pregnant mamas on the team or nursing moms or whatever. Like you may not want to do the refresh, but see if you can find someone who can, um, and share the benefits of it. Cause it's three days, you know, it's a short commitment. It's a great way to get fast results and just, you know, promote these other challenge packs that are on promotion. So I wanted to go over, just um, let you guys know a little reminder of what I have going on for the month um, so that if you want to join me in anything, you are welcome to. I shared that my Candy Detox Holiday Survival, we're going to kick that off with the official day one of 21 Thursday. My sneak peek group is going to be a little earlier this month because if I did it on the fourth Monday of the month, um, it's like the end of November, so it'd be almost December. And if I did it on the third Monday of the month, that would take you to, oh no, wait, fourth Monday is the week of Thanksgiving. So I just bumped it up a week to the third Monday. So it's going to be shortened. It's a three day instead of five, because I think that we're all busy this time of year. So I thought, you know, people who may be interested may not want to commit to the five. So I'll just condense the materials into, um, five, five, or I'm sorry, three days. I'll just probably do two posts a day um, to get that in. Thanksgiving, by about that, the week of the 22nd, 23rd, people are going to start to check out. So I really encourage you all to, you know, really push hard this week, next week. Um, you know, that's why I moved my, my challenge group up to this very beginning because I'm trying to recruit as many people as I can into this challenge group so I can hit Success Club and not have to worry about it come the end of the month. Cause by that, that week of Thanksgiving, um, through, you know, the 30th, the, the month ends, the Monday after Thanksgiving, like people are going to kind of check out for that week. They're either going to be traveling or thinking about Turkey dinner and they're not going to be thinking about, you know, working out or starting something new. So try to be lead, lead by example and be the reason that somebody does want to make a change. So, um, something else I wanted to share, just again, my, my plans for November, I posted this last night in attempts to get people engaged and people committed for my group. Um, this, the group that's starting this week, I offered a little giveaway. So I put this in my newsletter that went out yesterday. I put a blog post up about this and I pinned the interest to Pinterest and I put it on my like page and I put it on my personal Facebook page and I put it on Facebook or Instagram. So put this all over um, with a giveaway of doing four Shakeology packets to anyone who commits to a challenge pack. So point being, someone's going to order a challenge pack for the group that starts Thursday. It's a short group. It's 21 days and they're not going to have their stuff yet. So I said, if somebody orders by Wednesday, I will mail them four packets at my cost, like my expense. Like I wouldn't, you know, they, I would just give them the four packets that would help them kind of tie the period over from when they order um, to when they actually get their stuff and they'll be able to access the workouts through on demand. So that was kind of my way to bridge that gap to be able to invite um, can, like, you know, up through these first couple of days of the month. Talk about the three day glance group a little bit. Um, I'm going to do a cash for Christmas theme. Um, I did this last year. Melanie, um, she talked about this on the dream team call last night. Um, I think she's done it a couple years now, but you know, a lot of people are stressed or, you know, strapped for cash this time of year. Like the girl, I haven't wrote back to her, but the girl who told me that she has to talk it over with her husband because she doesn't know she can spend the money. You better believe I'm going to offer her the coaching opportunity or at least see if she has three friends that want to join her to see if they, you know, those three friends would cover her costs. Like those are the type of things that you really want to, you want to think about this time of year because it is harder for people to spend money on themselves or, you know, something that you don't necessarily need to do right now. Um, but, you know, people do need to do it. They just don't realize it. So that's going to be kind of like my promotion theme. Like my posts will talk about cash for Christmas. 
um, for that glance group, and that'll kind of carry through into December. I have a little bingo game I want to play with you, which the picture's on another slide, and so, and then the little black dress idea. So I'll actually move this here because I want to show you. So this is bingo. Um, this is a game. This for your for you guys. You know, it's not for my customers. This is something I want to do with you all. And I actually think this could be fun to do in a challenge group. It would just, I'd have to create a new bingo card. Um, but I know that this is a tough time. So I thought it'd be a little bit more fun to have a little game. So if you start looking through here, um, I'm sorry, I need a drink. There's different things that you can do to get a, you know, bingo stamp or a bingo mark. If you sell a Shakeology HD order, if you, or a coach advance in rank, if you sell a challenge pack, whatever it is, you know, search for YouTube videos for personal development. It's, and it'll be, you know, like I'll just to rely on you guys to track this yourself, but I'm going to run a little bingo game um, starting today. So I will post the bingo image for you guys. I mean, you can, you know, save it to your phone. You can probably like open it in an app and edit it if you want. You can do it on your computer but to start to track these things and, you know, obviously just encourage you to get out there and, you know, really, this is all around the three vital behaviors. This is nothing crazy. It's nothing totally off the wall. It's things to get you engaged and kind of a little bit more creative as we need to expand our ways and ideas through a time when a lot of people are just straight up telling us no. So I'll post this in the group, but I wanted to give you a little heads up. This is what I wanted to do. And of course, I love to throw out prizes in the mix. So the first person to get bingo will get the first prize. And it's a surprise. I'm not telling you what it is. But the first person to hit bingo will get, get one prize. And then anyone who hits bingo in each additional week will be raffled for one more prize. So And, and we'll, we'll run the weeks every to every Wednesday. So since there's like the rank advancement stuff on here, I guess Thursday morning. So the first person to get one would initially get the prize. And then next Thursday, between now and next Thursday, anyone who hits bingo will be entered in and I'll create a Google doc to put in our team page where people can kind of add their names to it as you hit these marks. But I just thought it'd be something fun um, to do a little game to play. Um, Little black dress challenge. I, I mentioned that I was going to do this. I went ahead and created my image for it. I have, this is the post that I will do. I won't post about this for a while, but you know, and not that you have to do something like this, but this is something that I had done last year and it did work well and it kind of did get a lot of interest. So I wanted to kind of promote this again. Um, and you know, you can see the text that I have on there, but little black dress challenge. I have the date, put my email, you know, same as a lot of things, you know, you can still enjoy your holidays. You're going to begin on November 30th. Like I said, you're, you're finished before Christmas. Um, so kind of just a, a way to attract those people who have holiday parties to go to who may be thinking, oh, you know, I don't have a dress to wear. My dress doesn't fit, that kind of stuff. So that is what I plan on promoting for December. This will be my group um, prior to Master and Chisel. Um, but I just wanted to share the image that I have for that to give you some ideas. Also another post that I had done last year and I know I remember seeing it flowing around. A lot of people did it is that the average American gains seven to 10 pounds between Thanksgiving and Christmas, which is kind of crazy to think about. Um, and so that's something else you can kind of use through, you know, while you're posting and inviting and sharing through social media, like, and you can do it different ways. Like I know last year I had done one where it was like the average American gained seven to 10 pounds. Who wants to reverse that and lose seven to 10 pounds between Thanksgiving and Christmas? Alternatively, you can do like a mission maintain. You know, maybe, maybe you're not trying to attract people to like lose weight through the holidays, but maybe you just want to tell people that like they can maintain, they don't have to gain seven to 10 pounds and you can help them with, you know, different tips and ways to, you know, practice moderation so that, you're not in that seven to 10 pound weight gain, but rather you're maintaining through the holidays. So I just wanted to give you a couple ideas for that. Um, and this is just how my, my week, my month will lay out. So that preseason for the little black dress group first day one will be on the third and it ends the day before um, Christmas Eve. Now I also wanted to tell you guys, if you want to run one over the holidays, that's fine. I know a lot of people, if I look at the November one, a lot of people are actually starting their preseason the week of Thanksgiving. 
Um, so they're going to, you know, take all, you know, these first three weeks of, um, the month of November to recruit for a, a group that starts the 23rd, but that's just the preseason week. So people wouldn't actually have to commit to following, you know, their meal plan and workouts until the 30th, which I think is a good idea too. Um, so you can kind of think about what would work best for you and what you want to do. Um, something that I came up with, excuse me, I'm like dying of thirst here. Um, that I was talking with my fall classic team about was doing some sort of free group. So obviously I was not planning on doing a free group this month. I was going to hold off and do a free group um, in January, like a clean eating group that tends to get a lot of people's interest and then kind of roll that free clean eating group into a challenge group. But I was talking to one of my newer coaches and she was like, I just feel like there needs to be a way to give people a sample of what we do like kind of run like a sample challenge group. So I realized like we can do that with on demand, right? Like we can take the like people can create beach body on demand. They can do workouts. You know, we can give them meal plans. We can give them that support and that those tips and the advice and everything. And they're creating the account with us. So we're linking up. Um, so like the requirement, there's still no financial requirement or commitment. They would just need to create the account and then run it through, um, you know, just pick like five different workouts on demand to do, or, you know, and I don't know exactly. I need to talk to my fall classic team. We're going to start at the ninth. I know that much. Um, I thought about, you know, five day, seven day. I talked to someone else who ran like a beach body on demand challenge group when it first was released. And she said she did a 10 day group. Um, so I guess I need to think about what I'm doing, but if you're not planning a free group, um, that's one that I'm planning to do. I'm going to keep this one smaller with my fall classic team just because they're newer coaches and they would rather have, you know, like they're, you know, I, my groups always end up large because I include my downline in it where they want them to be a little bit smaller. So I'm going to run it with them. But that being said, like if somebody wants to be a fly on the wall and see what we're doing and kind of run one parallel, um, like I'll be, you know, by all means, I'm open to sharing what we're doing. I'm just trying to keep that actual challenge group small. So I know some people are doing a seven day clean eating group next week. Um, just, just some ideas. Um, also if you have a like page and um, I know some people have seen it, but I, I'm doing a plank challenge this month. Um, I've been struggling to get my like page up and running cause I don't know, you have to, have a lot of engagement on it and it takes a while to get it started. Just like anything you need that momentum to go. And I've done the last two months, I've done little free challenges. Like I did a squat challenge. I did an ab challenge and there were people who participated, but not a lot, but I think it's, it's building. It's one of those things that's building over time. And for the plank challenge, I actually have a good bit of people interested. Now, mind you, I know not everyone who starts on day one is going to finish it. But even just my, like, normally my like page posts get like two, three likes, no joke. Like there's nothing on them um, where today, like the other posts I did on my like page have really um, taken off. Like I have more likes, not a lot. I still don't have a lot, but there's more than there usually is. And I've, and I've added some friends of people who like from Instagram, because I posted on Instagram and I got them to add me on Facebook. So like that's just another way to pull contacts in, like offering like something like a free squat challenge or whatever it is. It got me to pull them from Instagram onto my Facebook page without me having to necessarily like pull them over myself. Like I just offered it and they, they came over and liked my, my page. So it's just, it's creating a lot more conversations. Um, so something to think about, you know, you're not, you know, you may not want to do it right now. Um, you, know, you could do a seven day if you wanted to do a kind of a trial or something like after Thanksgiving, but just something else to think about, you know, people, people like to be a part of something else. So like, I feel like people, like I was talking to one girl and she's like, I haven't, you know, she's had like two kids. I think her, they're like five and three. She's like, I just haven't done anything in a long time. I thought this would be a great starting point. So it's a really good way to build new relationships. So, you know, kind of, and, and I didn't come, I mean, I, I saw someone else post it. It's not like I sat down and was like, oh, like what would, like I Googled a plank challenge calendar. Like I've been trying to do a new one each month. Um, I wanted to do something for planks and I Googled a calendar. I found the schedule. I, you know, made it my own image a little bit, but it's, it's gotten a lot more engagement. So I encourage you to 
try something new and step out of your comfort zone a little bit. And you know, these free groups, whether it's a clean eating group or a plank challenge, and you can run it on your own personal Facebook page, or you don't have to have it on a like page. Um, but it's just a really great way to branch out and meet new people. So that is that. Um, does anyone have any questions? Questions, questions? I will post the bingo cards so that we can start playing a little game. Um, and the recording to the call. Other than that, I don't think I have anything else. I can also upload the slides, Rebecca, that way you can see those. Um, so you can see a little bit more of what I was talking about. Sounds good, thank you. All right, thanks for getting on, ladies. Have a great night. You too. Bye. Bye.